as you are all familiar with the chakra system, I will bring forth information regarding this, expanding on these chakras. For you know, most of you know, of seven. I will expand upon this to the Egyptian and before that Atlantean model of the chakras, the 12 chakras. The seven would be explained as keys on a piano, being the white keys, and the black keys in between them, these are the other five, making 12. Each chakra corresponds with an astrological archetype. Your signs in astrology are beyond just physical stellar constellations. These are archetypes from source and within you, within your society, within your nations, within your world, within your galaxy and universe. I begin with the root chakra, red in color. This corresponds with the primal warrior hero energy of Aries. You are in this fire energy now in the element of fire, the element of passion, power, and action moving forth as it separates from source on its journey. As the baby leaves its mother's womb, it fights, it cries, it fights for survival. It is about survival at this point. It is about the fight. This is the warrior archetype. This is the fight or flight. This is survival. As I explain these archetypes, there are deities and gods that embody this energy. As the Aries, the warrior archetype corresponds with all warrior deities and protective deities. The chakra is located at the perineum. These chakras are equal and distant from each other, from what you would know as the golden ratio. This is the distance between your eyes, pupil to pupil. So now you move up that distance. Just above the genitalia, there is the sacral chakra, orange in color. As you have fought for survival in the Aries energy, now you have entered the Taurus energy. You have created a territory for yourself. You have created possessions. This is the practical archetype. This is the farmer archetype. As you are now in the element of earth, the element of the material and the physical issues, of wealth, and growth, and fertility. This is the practical as the Taurus energy, the practical farmer archetype corresponds with deities of fertility and also with deities of knowledge. And as the Taurus digs in the dirt, plants its plants as the farmer, creates a dwelling, creates its territory, has its possessions, values its possessions. Now, as this energy expands, you now wish to leave your dwelling, leave the practical, and explore. And as you do this, you are now in the navel chakra, located in the navel. This is golden in color. This corresponds with the sign of Gemini. You are in this air energy, now in the element of air, the element of the mind and the intellectual. This is the child archetype. The Gemini corresponds with all deities of innocence, of new beginnings, the innocent, as you innocently explore your world. You gather information at this point. Take everything in. This is the newness of life. Every time you experience something new, every time you learn something new, this is that feeling of newness, this feeling of childlike wonder. But as the innocent, as the child moves about and explores, you soon stumble. You may face hardships. You may need recharge you may need nurturing and this is where you come to the nurturing 
archetype, the mother archetype, the family archetype. This is Cancer, and you are in the water element, the element of emotion. This is the purest form of emotion, and you are in this archetype. Anytime you are being nurtured, or nurturing another, or nurturing yourself, this is that nurturing mother archetype. And now, the Cancer energy with the chakra located in the solar plexus region, just above the navel, yellow in color. This is the nurturing energy, the mother goddess, the goddess energies, Gaia, Virgin Mary, Hera, Cybele, the many goddess energies correspond to this energy, the mother archetype. Now we travel to the lower part, peach in color. Now as we've come out of this childlike innocence, we start to develop a sense of self. And this is the Leo energy, corresponding with the sun, also in this fire energy, now in the element of fire. Here you have developed a sense of self, a sense of I, the I am, and you are now the center of this universe, the center of your universe, and you wish to show off your talents. And the deities associated with this are the various sun deities, Horus, Jesus, Ra, Apollo. This is the king or the ruler archetype. Next, you move beyond yourself as the center into the middle heart green in color. This is the Virgo energy, also corresponding with the element of Earth. This is the sage, the teacher, the scientist. You begin to analyze. You begin not just to be focused on yourself as you were in Leo, but now you're focused on the world around you and you begin to analyze. This is where you find purpose. This is where you find growth. This is where you begin to ask questions in the heart. The entities, the deities associated with this are deities associated with wealth and growth. As this is where you gain love, this is also the center of love. And wealth, growth, health, all has to do with self-love. And through analyzing the self, analyzing your world, finding your purpose, you learn self-love, true self-love. As you have now begin to ask questions and begin to grow, really grow, really ask questions, you begin to look outward now and you move to the upper heart, between the middle heart and the throat. This is turquoise in color, blue-green, and this is the Libra energy, also corresponding with the element of air. You seek balance. You seek complementary. This is the lover archetype, also the judge archetype. This is here where you compare, where you seek balance. And deities such as Aphrodite, those associated with love. Now, as you sought balance in your reality, you move on up to the throat, light blue in color, and now you seek to manipulate your world, to change your world, to transform. This is the energy of change. This is the Scorpio sign, also corresponding with the water element. This is the magician archetype. You learn how to manipulate, you learn how to use the energy of nature to manipulate your reality and create change and transformation. And here 
you have Shiva and deities of change and transformation who rules this energy. Now from the throat, you move up to the chin. Here, the color is silver. This is the energy of Sagittarius, as you are now in the element of iron. This is the seeker archetype. This is the explorer. As you have gained a grasp on your reality, on yourself and on others, and learn to transform your reality, manipulate energies, and to grow. Now, you are the seeker. And the deities associated with this are the various seeker and travel deities. Now, you wish to expand, and you continue to expand. However, you are not aware of limitations. And it is through the next level, in the nasal chakra, located at the tip of your nose, and royal blue in color the level of Capricorn. As you are now in the element of Earth, you find your limitations. You set goals. You create. You build. This is the creator archetype. This is the builder archetype in Capricorn. You push your limits and you create. And now you feel like you have mastered your reality as you are able to create with these, you create, you set goals. This is the energy of the go-getter. Somebody highly motivated. Motivated to manifest and to create your reality. This is also the artist and the sculptor. And the deities associated with this are the various deities of creation and artists and deities. As you love to build, you love to create. However, now you have reached your limitations and you move to the next level. This is the brow or the third eye. This is indigo in color. This is the center of wisdom. This is Aquarius. As you are now in the element of air, now you look over. You look at what you have created. And having gained wisdom and experience, you evaluate. This is the destroyer archetype as you remove what no longer serves you. And it is true wisdom to know this. To know and to let go of what no longer serves you. Now you're meeting the destroyer entities. This may be very scary for you as you contact entities and also work with entities like Kali, the destroyer, and also the Egyptian god Thoth of wisdom. You have gained the point of wisdom now where you destroy, where you transform what no longer serves you. And as you move beyond Aquarius now, to the crown chakra, violet in color. And this is Pisces energy. As you are now in the element of water, this is the dreamer, the visionary archetype. It is here of the Christ consciousness where you realize oneness. The deities associated with this are deities associated with oneness, enlightenment, and connecting the source. As the self was a part of all of these archetypes, it begins to dissolve into the oneness, and you face your final challenge which is integrating the self into the oneness and knowing that you are an infinite being and you transform now 
into the oneness, and you transform and move into the thirteenth chakra now, one hand length above the head, brilliant white light in color. This does not correspond with astrological signs, as now this is your gateway into the next dimension. It is your root chakra into the next dimension. You continue to repeat these 12 archetypes throughout your life. Different periods in your life, you will live in these archetypes, face situations related to these archetypes. You will be this archetype. And it serves you to be aware of this, to know which archetype you're in, which you are moving.